All right, so let's check out this video on how to do CPR. So we're gonna watch the video first, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna actually show you and then we're gonna practice together, okay? So we'll do this together. So uh, this is pretty cool stuff, but we'll get there as we go. Here we go. Hey, are you okay? After confirming that someone is unresponsive and not breathing or only gasping, assume cardiac arrest and begin CPR. He's unresponsive. Go Ensure the person is on his back on a firm, flat surface such as the ground. Next, kneel beside him and place the heel of one hand in the center of his chest with your other hand on top. Interlace your fingers and make sure they are up off the chest. Position your body so that your shoulders are directly over your hands. With this technique, you can use your body weight to help compress the chest. Now, give 30 chest compressions. One Keeping your arms three, straight, four, push down five, at six, least seven, two seven, inches, eight, then nine, let the chest ten, return to 12, its normal 12, position. 13, Continue 14, to push hard 15, and fast, 17, giving compressions 19, at a rate of between 100 and 120 14, compressions 15, per minute. 17, 18, 19, for a child, push down about two inches. And for a smaller child, you may only need to perform chest compressions with one hand. Next, give two rescue breaths. First, place a breathing barrier over the person's nose and mouth. Then, open the airway by putting one hand on the forehead and two fingers on the bony part of the chin and tilting the head back to a pass neutral position. For a child, you'll only need to tilt the head to a slightly pass neutral position. Pinch the nose shut, take a normal breath, and make a complete seal over the person's mouth with your mouth. Blow for about one second while looking to see that the chest rises. Take another breath, make a seal, and give a second rescue breath. One and two and three and four. And Continue five, giving sets six, of 30 eight, chest eight, compressions nine, and two nine, rescue 11, breaths 12, until 13, 14, 15, you notice an obvious sign of life. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, an AED is ready to use and no other trained responders are available. You have performed five sets of CPR and another trained responder is available to switch. One and two and three and four and five and six. You have seven, performed eight, five eight, sets of CPR eight, on a child. 12, you are alone seven, and need to call 911. EMS personnel take over. 29, you are alone and too tired to continue or the scene becomes unsafe. One and two. And the AED and for safety. All right, so that's kind of the steps. Now I'm gonna take you through this. We're gonna practice this a few times. So before we uh, move on to our next video, which is actually on the same screen, uh, this is the time that you're gonna need your uh, CPR mannequin. So you're gonna have to figure this out a little bit. Um, uh, I got this fancy guy. Uh, some of you might have a mannequin similar to this if you have family members that are in healthcare or whatever, potentially. Uh, but you can do this with a teddy bear. Uh, get the biggest size one possible. Uh, the one thing you can't do, you can't do this on a real human. So do not, do not use your brother or sister on this. Understood? Do not. Okay, so before you play the other video, go find something that we can use for this uh, demonstration. Sound good? All right, we'll see you soon.